Alright, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to another player review. So today we will be reviewing 88 rated second in form Havertz. Now this card is at striker, uh, which is brilliant. Once this card is at striker, he's originally he's originally a cam, but we are going to be playing him striker just because it is a player review. We are going to play him in a correct position. But before we get into this video, if you guys are new and you do want to help me out, if you do drop a sub and a like, it would be muchly appreciated. Don't even know if much is muchly is a word. But I'd appreciate it a lot. I'm on the road to two and a half k. Um, but anyways, before we hop into the highlights, I've got around four minutes worth of highlights of this card. I'm just going to share with some some easy information about this card. So on the screen, you guys can see his good stats with and his bad stats. Now you can pick this card up for a hundred thousand coins. And looking at his good stats, there's some brilliant stats there, man. 93 sprint speed, and the only reason his pace is 88. It's because it his acceleration is 80, so he's rapid with sprint speed, but acceleration is just bang on average. Um, but some more good stats there, there's some great ball control, there's some great attacking positioning, great finishing. Um, and under the poor stats, we do have the 69 strength, which, I mean, strength is it's not that good, especially for striker. And in these highlights, you guys will see many points where he did get pushed off the ball. Um, so I'm thinking... I mean, I used a Hawk on him, which upped his strength uh, to roughly 73 strength from 69 strength. So definitely put something on him that can get his strength up if you're playing him at striker. If you are playing him at cam, I don't know what cam style. Maybe, uh, maybe a marksman, maybe a nice engine. Um, it's really just up to you and where you're going to play this card. So like I said, we did play this card at right striker alongside Alexis Sanchez. Um, now another stat that I don't, I'm not a big fan of is his 76 balance isn't the best and his medium medium work rates. So if you guys don't know what medium medium work rates is, um, it's how pushed up the pitch you are. So if you have high attacking work rates, you'll be very far pushed up the pitch. Um, where if you have low attacking work rates, if you're a striker with low attacking work rates, you'll be in the midfield and you don't want that as a striker. Um, for me, I really like either high medi high attacking work rates. Uh, and medium defensive work rates or high attacking work rates and low defensive work rates for my striker. So that's why I just put these medium medium as a con. I'm just not a fan of that myself. Um, but yeah, without further ado guys, let's get into the highlights. Okay lads, now this is all sped up in the background so you can just see uh, me with this card. Now, like I said, you can pick this card up for roughly 100k. I was lucky enough to pick this card up for 96,000 coins. I uh, just won him on a bid, so you can see me putting him in my team there. Um, we forgot about the Hawk style, so I'm going to go get the Hawk, Hawk style in a minute. But there's his stats on the screen for you guys. Um, if you didn't see my good stats, bad stats uh, page. And I was debating on whether or not to put a marksman on him, but I definitely wanted that pace boost. And like I said earlier, he's originally a cam, so you can play him as a cam. And the reason this card isn't 87 rated... Um, it's because his first in form, 86 rated, but then he got a Man of the Match card, um, a Europa League one, which put him to 87, and this is his third, kind of his third performance-based match card. So that is why, but you can see me with a Hawk there. I'm going to go apply it onto him, and then we're jumping into a Division Rivals game. So, like I said, I'm starting him up top alongside Alexis Sanchez at left striker. We've got Seedorf at left cam with James, Daniel James at right cam. Kante and Guardiola is my CDMs, and my back line of Wambasaka, a Wambasaka, and then I've got Desai. On the left, we have got Pereira, and Pereira Sanchez on AKM, it's not too bad, could definitely be a lot better though, and we've got Varane at the back as well, obviously, and then my goalkeeper, Yashin. Now, what I did is actually sub on Werner for Sanchez, and then put Sanchez at left cam for Seedorf. But I did that later on throughout the game. Now anyways, back to the gameplay. Sadly, we are away advantage. and I, I mean, away disadvantage. And personally, I'm someone that believes in scripting. So I do like having home. Um, but you guys can see on screen, I'm about to show Havertz's stats. Now he does go up to, I believe, 91 in pace with 87 shooting, I believe that was. Um, but we've got the highlights. Just nice, simple passing from Havertz. 92 short passing, like I said, it's phenomenal. 93 it may be. Nice through ball there, that is from Havertz as well. And he felt brilliant. Sadly, the shot does get blocked though. 
Now, like I said, it's just lots of simple passing from Havertz. We do a through ball there. Um, now, we've got Havertz on it now. I do a ball roll, and, and, and he does get tackled. I'm going to blame that on me. I shouldn't have done with a ball roll. Maybe something different. Um, but yeah, not bad. Now, Havertz with a nice, nice through ball to Alexis Sanchez. I go to fake shot, and then I go to pass it, but it does not go off. Now, Havertz once again with a nice pass back to Havertz, and then with a shot. Sadly, it wasn't great. His his it was a good shot on target, and then as you can see, he's getting pushed off the ball again. There, now his shot was on target. It was a good shot. It's just his shot power. He only has 79 shot power, and I feel like he'd want a little bit more, especially as a striker. A hunter will get that up a little bit, which is good though. Now Havertz once again does get pushed off the ball, and that's his 69 strength. Even with a Hawk going to 75 strength, you need more strength. As much strength as you can get. So I would recommend playing this dude as a cam. And at striker, like like I said, he didn't do amazing. As you can see here, we do pick up the first goal of the match. Going 1-0 up just before half time. Alexis Sanchez right there. Now, a little bit after half time, roughly 20 in game minutes after half time, it goes to 1-1. This dude was dominating the whole second half. I had to play very defensively and I couldn't use my attack too much. Now we give it back to Havertz and we give a nice through ball to Werner and I go to put it into the middle. I'm about to load up the shot but the buttons lay just bit me in the ass here. And now we get it to Havertz and he does get the tackle through which is good. I'm butchering a few of my words here. Um, and then Werner pushed off for a free kick. Havertz once again with a nice pass man. I'm, the passing is the highlight of this card. It's just phenomenal. And that's all of the highlights I have, um, roughly four minutes worth of highlights. And that, that was the end of the match. We didn't get to experience too much of the shooting, but I got to experience enough of this card to tell you that I would say that you should play him at Cam. Do not play him at Striker. Even though his card says he's a Striker, I recommend playing him as a central attacking midfielder in, in the middle as well. So if you're playing a 4 2 3 1, play him as your middle Cam. Um, he doesn't have, like, the winger attributes. So, that's what I can say. And for this card, how he performed for me. I'm going to have to give... Uh, I'm going to have to give maybe a 7.5 out of 10. Um, which I'd say is an average rating. He's okay. Like, as a cam, I'd give him a 9 out of 10. But as a striker, I'd give him a 7.5 out of 10. So, definitely play this card as a cam. And you will enjoy this card. 100k is a lot to play. But, I mean, there was lots of key stats there that's important as a central attacking midfielder. So, for 100k, the stats he has, how he feels on the ball, I would say he is worth it. Um, spend away, spend your 100k coins. Trust me, you will not regret it. Anyway, lads, this will bring me to the end of my video. Thank you guys so much for watching this. If you did get anything from the video, remember, just drop a like and subscribe. It would help me out a lot. Anyways, till next time, guys. I'll see you later. Peace out.